So, you know, I am here, you know, at the bus stop, you know, on Riverside Drive. I got up this morning and I walked down to the Social Security office with these cane, and these stick that I walked with, you know. And uh, I told him that, hey, I have a marriage license and I am married and I'm supposed to be getting the amount that a married couple gets being married instead of the amount that a single individual gets, you know, because they said, you know, somebody had tried setting up some kind of marriage fraud scam of stealing money and it was not me. So I was there and then like the dude that was there was saying, oh, but uh, what if you said that you separated or some or somebody said that you separated or some. I'm like, I never said any of that. I always said I have a marriage license and I am married. So whoever it is that uh, said any of that other stuff, uh, I'm not trying to get in trouble for what somebody else said or what somebody else did, you know. So when I called the, on the phone, it was like this number. It's like it was like some one eight hundred seven seven two one two one two number type number. I don't know if that's the exact number, but it's something like that. They had told me to go to the local office and show them my marriage license and tell them that I am married and that I'm supposed to be getting the social security amount for a person being married when it is a married couple. So they said that um it was something wrong in the computer because somebody that worked at the social security office did something wrong and I'm not supposed to get in trouble for what the people at the social security office at the local office did wrong because they said in order for it to be something wrong inside the computer then whoever worked at the office and had access to the computer did something wrong because since I don't work at the social security office there's no way that I could have went inside the computer at the social security office and edited it or deleted or did stuff wrong to the computer. You know, this is what they told me, you know. So I'm not really sure about it. So they said, this video is evidence of me, you know, on Riverside Drive, you see, at the bus stop. So the McDonald's and stuff like that. It's like, uh, they said, uh, well, where is your wife and stuff like that? I told him I made a police report and said that um somebody has been doing identity theft using the identity of my marriage license spouse, the spouse of my marriage license, the name of my spouse, my marriage license says, and that it seemed like they did something wrong at Social Security because being married, they say, as long as you told them that you married, Brandon, you told the people at the Social Security office that you married and you have a marriage license. So when you told them that, they said, you know, somebody would get in trouble because in the state of Georgia, there is no such thing as separation. You're either married or you're not. And since I never went to any kind of divorce court, and since there is no such thing as a separation court in Georgia, it's like, I'm not supposed to get in trouble for any kind of papers that anybody else signed my name on or any kind of papers that anybody signed the name of my marriage license spouse on if it was not me and if it was not her. So this video is evidence that, you know, I walked all the way down here to the Social Security office using these feet and these pain because, you know, something is wrong with my legs, you know. I'm on disability. I'm all disabled and stuff. I felt so sick, like I was going to throw up and, like, you know, like I was going to fall out in the sun, you know, and stuff like that. And so it was like, um, do you know where your wife is and stuff like that? I told them, I don't really know, know where, where, where she is and stuff and like last that. Week. And I'll come out there and, 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 and you know, I'm being tired. And, yeah, and, you know, in, in the time, in the right. meantime, I just need you to, to see that so there and just, just be patient know. with me, okay? Okay, it's just it's one thing. I was saying, oh, uh, I was gonna need what I was gonna need. I was gonna also need some of them. was like, before I leave, I was gonna need like a printout of what they're doing because it's like when you're married, you're supposed to be getting a certain amount. 
They said somebody been deleting records and trying to do some kind of fraud or whatever. I don't want to get in trouble for somebody claiming to be single when I got a marriage license. And they said my wife gets uh, benefits too, that I used to be the payee of, and that, um, that neither one of us is supposed to be getting the full amount if, if I'm at. So like, I would need to like make sure that I get a printout showing that of like my what I'm supposed to be getting like of my benefits because I don't want to be stealing money claiming to be single when I got a marriage license and I'm married and because somebody it's been used in my account to steal money and it wasn't for me because I was in jail when they did that. So they were they, they, they were said like somebody did something real bad that only could have been done from inside of these computers. Gotcha. So have a seat out there. We'll be with you in a minute. Okay. Yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I apologize again because you know they no said it was somebody else that used to work there. What and did it, she say? And no it, apology necessary. Okay. Okay. Hang tight with us. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So with this right here, when I came in, mm -hmm. uh, they were like saying, "Oh, uh, did I? Oh, uh, did they report that I like, with the marriage license and stuff like that? That um." um they say I'm not supposed to be getting this amount right here. That when you're married, that you're supposed to be getting um a different amount. You told me you told me you're in your you're in your wife. You don't know where she is. Yeah, they don't mean that, that just because it's a missing person don't mean that you're not married. They said that say, we base it on whether or not you're living together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She got the same address that I got. That's what I'm telling. But you. she's not living there. She's uh seem like a missing person. You think that's what I was saying? Like, see, this right here, like. See, it's not supposed to have these address on here. No, we've already updated it. We just uh, it won't be on the system until tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, that was like I need, okay. I need to get a uh, uh, paperwork showing that I need it right there. You know, because mm -hmm. they was like, oh, do you have a copy of these? Like, yep. see this by right, police? These they said they made a police report. Yep. We have all of that. And then what I was saying, can I oh um, can I get oh um, that the information? So I need the same information, like the same way when I brought that copy of that release. No, we're not gonna have that. We don't they, have to retain that. They, they Once we that. see it, we're good. Okay, okay, so they were like they, they was like, oh, with them papers that I had on the phone right there, they was like, oh, when I came down here, they was like, oh that I would need something in writing from like whoever it is they're saying so that they I have evidence of the same address being used for me and for the spouse of my marriage license name. And the letter has a date of the month and the year with the same address I use. So I reported that someone was doing identity theft using the same address and the same name my marriage license spouse says for me and for her and they've been using government benefits for not me and not her and someone using our marriage license identity they say did identity theft and since I told the Social Security office, they say the local Social Security office and the local food stamp office of Bill County in the city of Macon, Georgia, has evidence that I told I do not know where my spouse is and that someone has been doing identity theft to where I don't even know how much monthly benefits she get and someone has been using the name and stopping me from getting mine. And it is against the law and it is a federal crime. And they say the federal government can prosecute the local making Bibb County food stamp office employees and the local Macon, Georgia Social Security office employees for not doing anything about it since this evidence is made public and has been reported as a crime report with a police report and all of the evidence. So, you know, I am here in this 
care, you know, from no fault of my own is what they say, you know, since I was abused, since I was like five years old, like the youngest of, you know, a household. And they say being married is a household. And since I am married and I never had sex, you know, they say sex is called going all the way. And sometimes people get pregnant. And since I never made any pregnancy outside of the identity of the spouse of my marriage license, since then, someone seems to have been using the identity of the spouse of my marriage license. And I told, you know, because I'm not trying to get in trouble for the crime somebody else did. And they say that, well, if you're all disabled and in this chair and you have to, like, walk with a, a stick, you know, and stuff like that. And if you're um on disability, then you should be getting food stamps or something like that. Or if you and your spouse is on disability, then maybe you wouldn't need food stamps since, you know, I'm able to pay the rent for the whole month. Then if my wife gets disability, it should be enough for food for me and her. So it's a, like, when you do those food stamp applications, yeah, that's the way to do it. Tell them you don't know where your wife is and that someone's been doing identity theft because obviously they say that someone tried setting me up. Someone wanted me filling out the food stamp application the wrong way since I'm not that smart and don't know how to do it. And they wanted me getting in trouble for the fraud that they did. And they say, if single moms get food stamps just for having sex and not being married and get Section 8 in apartments and housing vouchers just for having sex and not being married, then certainly a disabled person such as myself being married and disabled through no fault of my own having a marriage license with the date of April 30th, 2004, then certainly, since I am married, I should be allowed having food stamps and whatever kind of government benefits I can get. Since I am married, and I'm not one of those people who just went around having sex and having babies with people who didn't want to even marry them. So with the identity deal, they say, it's no reason of being ashamed, you know. I don't really know how the um uh make these videos and stuff like that. So I use this program called Filmmaker. If you look at the screen, it says Filmmaker is the way it says Filmmaker. It's in the Google Play Store. It's the best application in the Google Play Store. Because Filmmaker pretty much makes the videos by itself to where all you have to do is just press one button, you know. So I reported the identity field and, you know, they say, hey, maybe you won't need those food stamps after all a branding. Because if someone's been using the Social Security account for you and your spouse, if they get that money back from the identity theft person, you should have plenty of money for food and clothes. And they know they like, because since you're wearing the same clothes every day, obviously the person who's been using the account for your spouse is not your spouse. Because if the person who was using the account for your spouse was your spouse, and if it is your spouse, your spouse would make sure you had different clothes and staying clean every day, you know, since I am married, you know, and since, you know, I pay the rent, the whole rent every month, you know, 
And um, it's crazy that why would someone want to use the name of my marriage license spouse? And why would somebody want to use the name and the identity and the social security number and stuff of my marriage license spouse if they're not my marriage, if they're not my marriage license spouse? And they say, that's what identity theft is. It's when people were taking advantage of a disabled person because, you know, I can't really go a lot of places and stuff in this chair and with these seat and stuff like that. I can only go short distances and, you know, they said that somebody had tried saving me up, you know, for some kind of life insurance or death insurance money and and they was going to, they was trying to use the name of my marriage license spouse and wanted to get some money for me dying or starving to death from not being able to, whether it's from the social security account, my spouse would have buying food for us. So I would starve to death from not having access to it or whether they wanted me getting in trouble for filing a food stamp application the wrong way and looking like a liar lying about the income when I don't even know how much income she gets because someone else has been using her identity. And they say that the person who's been using the identity, they, they tried messing up the amount of money or the cheap money or the income for my marriage and that somebody might be used her identity at a job or at an employment agency, or for a car, or a loan, and that it is not the spouse of my marriage who used the marriage license identity for those loans and for working at it. Because they see, the person said that if they get a job and work at a job, they'll cut his wife's chick off, and then he won't have no money, and he'll just starve and die. You know, they said that's what they had tried doing to me. And then they say, and if he try to fill out a food stamp application, he won't know how much money that she get, and he'll fill it out wrong. And then they'll see that he lied on his food stamp application or something like that. It's like, it's crazy. It's like, since I never went into anyone else's marriage account for their spouse or for their food stamps or government benefits, I don't know why anyone would do any of that stuff to me, you know? And um, I've been in Macon, Georgia since the year 2014. And they say, have you ever been in any fights or have you ever been like in any crimes and stuff like that to the other people outside in the city of Georgia, in the city, in the, I mean, in the state of Georgia or in the city of Macon? And I say, no, the whole time I've been in the state of Georgia, they say, I am not the problem. I don't have any victim in the state of Georgia. I've never been in like, any fights or any shoplifting or any stealing or any of that stuff. And I went to the mental health court and they know from like all of the drug court drug testing that I don't use drugs and stuff like that. And, you know, it was like, well, if I've been here since the year of 2014 and I've never, I've, I've always like stayed in, in hotels and businesses, you know, paying the monthly rent, you know, on the first of the month, then it was like, why would anyone be mad at me for, you know, paying the rent every month and making sure the spouse of my marriage, my marriage license spouse, my, you know, my spouse has food in a place of staying with me, you know, stuff like that. And it's crazy because the person I'm married to never said anything about any separation or any divorce or any of that stuff. And so it's like, they say somebody wanted a green card or a social security check or a debit card with the spouse of my marriage license name on it for somebody else. And that someone was trying to, someone wanted someone else being in a relationship with them, but wanted to be using my marriage license name of my marriage license spouse for somebody else's family and leaving me here in his wheelchair and stuff like that and wanted me blaming my wife for it when my wife didn't do it the person who 
stole the identity and did the identity thief is the one who did it, you know? Why would I blame my wife for something that somebody who stole her identity did, you know? So it's crazy. Someone did all this stuff to me. And I never did any of this type of stuff to them. It's crazy. So it's like, yeah, uh, someone would probably be here from the food stamp office since I'm in this wheelchair and I have special needs and I will probably have a face-to-face -face interview where, you know, the employees can follow up on the investigation of the identity theft so that they, you know, so that it would be known how much money does I get every month, how much money does my spouse get each month because maybe I don't even qualify for food stamps because if it's a whole social security check left over after I pay the rent and my spouse has a whole social security check, you know, and since there is no separation in Georgia and they say a married couple is considered a household and you're only supposed to have one food stamp card if you get food stamps, maybe I don't qualify for food stamps at all. So I don't really know all the information on the food stamp application or if it's filled out right. So I didn't make any contracts or any kind of false claims or false statements, which is why they say that, yeah, one of the workers of the food stamp office would be over here for me because the food stamp office has access to the social security accounts and records to find out who is the person who made all of these problems for me when I did not make any problems for anyone the whole time since I've been here in the state of Georgia for years now, you know, seemed like someone tried blaming me for the scams that somebody else did. And it seemed like whoever else did those scams tried using the name of my marriage license spouse because they wanted me and the spouse of my marriage license getting in trouble for some kind of fraud that somebody else did. So I told them, and this is video evidence of me telling, you know, what I know I was told about making the police report and making a video so it would be evidence of, you know, I don't know.